Today in this video I am going to explain you how we can use the new forms experience in a SharePoint online list. If you are using SharePoint online list then you can use the out of box forms. But today we will see another experience which is the same as how we can create a survey in a Microsoft forms. So how we can quickly create a form and that will be very easier for users to submit the form using various devices as well. So in this case what will happen is you can share this link via email or something or you can even put the link directly to anywhere and your users from your organization can submit the form. Now we can customize forms by using this also you can create multiple forms like in a form there can have three four fields in a form there can have multiple fields also in this I'll show you step by step how we can create forms how we can give title uh, description or you can set some of the properties in that also I'll show you how we can create multiple forms by duplicating it and how your how will be your user experience when they will try to submit a form. So all these things I'll show you practically. And if you are new to the channel, then my name is Vijay and I'm a Microsoft MVP. I make videos on this technology, especially on SharePoint, Power Platform, XPFX, all these things. And if you are new to this channel, then subscribe it so that you will get notification on these videos when I'll make it. And if you want to become a SharePoint developer, then check out our complete SharePoint developer training course. I'll put the link in the video description. No, now, so now let's go to the system and we will see how we can use the new SharePoint online list forms experience. Now let us see practically how this form experience works in SharePoint online list. And uh, for that I will open a SharePoint list. You can see here uh, this is a request and appointment list. And uh, by default when you will open this it will the list form will come like this. Of course you have a customization options are there you can click here you can edit columns you can configure the layout even you can customize this form using power apps i have also separate videos and tutorial how we can customize using power apps i'll put those links in the video description you can have a look at it today let's talk about this form experience you can see here in the command bar there is a new forms button is there so once you click on this you can see here it is allowing us to or it is giving an option where you can create a form now you can create multiple form on this i'll show you that also so you click on this and then you can see here it is asking us to provide a title of the form so for the title i'll just copy it request an appointment and you can provide a description for it suppose i will say fill out the form for an appointment right so uh, you can provide a description for it now the end, next thing is you can uh, also you can see these are the columns and uh, based on the column type you can see a small icon also now when if you particularly click on one then you can provide the detail about or you can change the label of the column as well as you can provide a description for it for example i can give here enter email id and you can provide a description for users to understand like enter a valid email address here and here also you can make things mandatory suppose i want this column to be mandatory i can select this and you can click outside and then it will automatically save you don't need to save it anywhere or you don't need to click anywhere to save it you can see here this has been saved the other thing that you can do here is you can click on it and you can see this option where you can move up down in fact you can click on this to hide this form also Alter alternatively you can unselect anything and this will be get hidden from this field so you can unselect and it will go there for example i'll unselect it you can see here this is not there the last name only the first name is there and you can also change suppose i will say enter your full name so like this you can change it next thing what we can do here is in fact you can see there are various columns on this suppose this is a date time column and if you want to change something like for example you include the time you can select this option so based on the data type you will see some of the options here also and you can use this to do those settings 
another important thing you can do here is you can see there is an option where you can add fields for example if you click on this you can see this many fields as of now you can add on this uh, form and uh, most of the forms you will see here these forms are there in microsoft form also and also if you are using microsoft list app you will see the same form experience in microsoft list app also now in this case suppose i want to add one yes no field so i'll say is it your first time widget and i can have a yes no fields and you can click outside and it will you can see here it is taking some time to save it now um, once you click on save the form actually will be or the field will be created in the sharepoint list if i will just open the sharepoint list in another tab you can see here in this tab if i'll just open it here you can see might not be it is not there in the view but if i will click on this and click on edit current view then you should be able to see the field here the field name was uh is it your first time visit you can see here and once you click on okay then this field will be appear here in this this one you can see right so whenever you do this it will create one field in the sharepoint list which will hold the values now from this now coming back to this this section in the right side section you can see there is a customize option and in this if for option is so hide fields so whichever fields you do not want to appear in the form you can just unselect it and you can also use this option to move up and down then i'll come to the theme section where you can create a theme so you can see here how you can easily change these options even you can click on create style and you can have a custom theme for this form and then you can click on the settings and here you can see you can provide a custom message and if you have disable this option accept re responses then people will not be able to submit the form so once it is enabled then only people can submit form submit the details and the form will be saved then if you will see here send form and you can click on this and when this link will be copied and if you want to preview it you can click here and you can see our preview of this form you can see here it is powered by microsoft list this is already there in microsoft list also app if you are using now if i will go to another user remember i have just copied it a link and you can see here i have logged in with user 1 click on this i'll just put the link and you will be able to see here the form will open this is not a sharepoint list form or a typical sharepoint list form this is the new forms experience that we created now so i'll put the name here i'll say user 1 i'll say user 1 and there you can see here the email address which is a people picker control so you can do this and you can put the mobile number you can do the appointment date and type i'll just click on okay person to meet suppose i'll put my name here and i'll put a text for purpose of meeting if it is the first time visit i'll say yes and then submit and you can see here thank you for submitting the response which is there for which is the message that was there now if i'll go to back to the list i'll just refresh it you can see here the, the item added here in this right same way i'll just close it and if i'll go to forms again you can see here one form is already created and since the form is we have the settings where we are now allowing this to user so that is the reason the status is open now you can click on this option and you can edit the form you can stop accepting responses and then you can duplicate the form so if you click on duplicate the form you can see here there is a copy of the this form is created here you can click on this and you can change this so request for appointment or request for uh, a quick appointment and on this case you'll see here i maybe i'll just 
remove these options and now this form will become like this right you can uh, see here and you can click on send uh, send form copy the link and now any user will open this link they can see only this many fields right and uh, let me just quickly go to form and uh, in the quick meeting if i'll stop accept sec, stop accepting the responses you can see here this is closed now i'll go here suppose i'll just copy the link and i will paste it here now you can see here we are not accepting response at this moment right because we stopped it right so this way you can work with the form experience in sharepoint online list so i hope now you got to know how you can work with uh, this form experience on sharepoint online list so if you like the video kindly subscribe to the channel so that anytime i'll get or i'll make videos on these technologies you will get notification on that so you will get to know about micros various microsoft 365 apps like sharepoint online power platform spfx all these things you will get it so thank you and have a nice day